we'll talk now about the types of classroom listening performance. This is all about what you do in terms of listening in the classroom. And the first one is reactive. The idea here is you listen to the surface structure of an utterance and you repeat it. Examples of these are pronunciation drills and choral drills. Okay. Now, if this was a face to face interaction, I would have asked you to repeat after me. So, in, in class, I usually do this. I would ask them to repeat after me. So, I would say, class, repeat after me. Bit. And the class would say, bit. I would say, beat. Beat, bet, bet, bat, bat. So those are pronunciation drills. Then I would give examples of choral drills where I would say, um, it's time I bought new shoes. Okay, class, repeat after me. It's time I bought new shoes. It's not, it's time to buy new shoes. It's time I bought new shoes okay that would that's what i would do if uh this was face to face but this is synchronous so it's quite different if we have reactive listening we also have intensive listening the idea of intensive listening is you focus on component parts that's why it's called intensive so you listen to to focus on components of this course such components may include phonemes which means the individual sounds you might focus on certain words certain intonation or even discourse markers like nevertheless however so you focus on specific components that's intensive listening you go down deep okay then you also have selective listening Selective listening includes listening for important information from longer stretches of discourse. So you want to hear, for example, what he said about this particular topic, and he's, and he's talking a lot, and you want to listen to what he will say about this particular topic. Now, this could also be done by repeating the recording. Okay, if you have recorded, if you have recorded the, the speech, the input, then you could also scan in order to be selected, okay? So you listen to speeches, media broadcast stories, and you want to listen to a particular piece of information. For example, you want to know names, dates, certain facts or events, the location, the situation, the context, or maybe you want to listen because you want to understand the main ideas, or you want to listen because you want to understand the conclusion. That involves selective listening in the classroom. Okay. Now, if we have intensive listening and selective listening, we also have extensive listening. In intensive listening, you go down deep. In an extensive listening, you go wide. You go wide. So extensive listening involves listening to lengthy lectures or listening to a conversation, and then you derive a comprehensive message or purpose. So you listen widely. Intensive, you go down deep. Extensive, you go wide. And when you do that, you try to derive a comprehensive message or purpose, the gist, the purpose, the whole idea of the lengthy lecture that you're listening to. Or maybe, uh, for example, the, the speaker is talking about something he's trying to persuade you that you should do a particular activity and he gives a le lengthy lecture and you listen to that lecture and you get a comprehensive message a message that uh, encapsulates the whole lengthy lecture or, or conversation 
Then you also have interactive listening. This is where you participate. The em emphasis is on participating. You participate in discussions, debates, conversations, role plays, and other pair or group work. In interactive listening, you interact listening with other skills, such as speaking and other skills. Okay, you cannot really participate in interactive listening without integrating listening with other skills, particularly speaking and maybe even writing and also reading. That's interactive listening. Okay. So these are the types of classroom listening performances, and they are very useful in the classroom.